Hi everyone, my name is Dennis Cortez. I am a digital product designer who codes, teaches, and makes music. In today's video, I wanted to make a bit of a follow-up to the design systems video that I put up a bit ago. And I just wanted to walk through kind of my next steps. I'm actually recording this right after that video, so this is picking up right off from there. So let's get into it. So right now, I think I've kind of landed on this green action as the main color that I want to try out. Right now, I'm just gonna set it up as a component so that I can start using it and testing it out when I'm working on Hi-Fi. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I've already added auto layout to that. Just for example's sake, I'll show you. So as you can see, this icon, it's like a grid. That means it doesn't have auto layout. Whereas if you have auto layout, you'll have this icon here. What we're gonna do is either just click here to add auto layout on the plus, or you can just do shift A. So that will add auto layout. And like I said, in the last video, I like to set my spacing to 12 for icons. And then it has eight and 16 on the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a component. I'm gonna call this action. And later on, I can go ahead and make variants of this component if I want to. So now that we have it as a component, I'm going to go back to my mobile explorations. So this is where I was trying some stuff out, the profile view that I was testing out. But now I want to go ahead and add a styling for Hi-Fi. I wasn't sure if I was going to use next in the top right or not, but just for now, I want to try out this new component that we just made. Right now, it's a bit small. So what I'm gonna do is actually make the changes here, and then I can actually push these changes to the component uh, later on. First thing I want to do is actually make this have a bit more padding. It feels a bit too small right now. So I'm gonna bump it up. So I'm just doing tab, like I said in the last video just tabbing through these and then doing shift up to increase the padding by eight because I use uh, eights for all of my work. And then I want this text to be centered and I want the elements within this to actually be centered to the middle as well. Um, so that will fix that and then we can go ahead and type stuff out and it will automatically do that. This is helpful. So we can just do 16, then go. 16 here, uh, make sure we have 16 here. And then what I was saying earlier is I can do right click and then push overrides to main component and then it will automatically do that. The sizing for this uh, is actually better to have full width uh, for me because on mobile, I actually like to typically do full width, but if you like to do smaller ones and have them off to the side like this as well, you can do that. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but for now let's do full width. So I really like that. I do like that these buttons actually have a bit more roundness to them, but let's try it out with this too. So I'm gonna end up having to make a smaller button, which we'll figure out in a second. So now what I'm doing is I want to change in my design system, I have these preliminary colors that I've set up, but I think I want to change them up a tiny bit. I want to saturate that one a little bit and then I can leave the dark one as it is for now. But now what I need to do is actually make a component for those other buttons. So let's go back here to explorations. I like this size, but typically what you, you'll find on mobile is you actually have to get a minimum size requirement for buttons. And what that tends to be is 44 according to Apple. So let's actually work on this a secondary button. So I'm gonna grab one of these and go back to my components page. And then we'll combine these as variants later. Call this action small. And then this one, we can name action large. So like I said, we'll combine these as variants later. Uh, and we can go ahead and make this a component and then go back to our explorations. And then I'm gonna move these out and just rebuild them with uh, our new component. So I'm gonna make a couple of these, um, but what I tend to like to do is actually create a frame around this. And then um, usually I'm better about naming my layers, but this is like exploratory phase. So since it's like not set in stone yet and I'm not happy with it yet, I don't want to spend too much time on my layers. I'd rather like get ahead on the design system and go back through and name, rename my layers later. So let's go ahead and just add auto layout to this. And what that does is just basically lets me come in here and then I can just make duplicates of these. And then I'm gonna set it to horizontal 
and then I want to do 16 between each one. And then something that I like to do as I'm working on design systems, just a little tip, is getting Figma mirror on your phone. I'm just constantly pulling up screens on my phone that I'm working with. So like this one, I can see it on my phone and I can actually see that while on my screen, these look a decent size. When I'm actually on my phone, it's super small. So what I'm gonna do is make revisions based on that. And again, that was super helpful that I made sure I brought up Figma Mirror. I recommend doing it a lot because it'll help inform, especially on mobile, of course, just the sizing of the elements that you should make. So like I said, we can go ahead and make adjustments here and push them back to our master component. So I'm just gonna do that right here. One thing I missed was actually doing 12 between each of the elements. And then I'm gonna bump this up. So I'm looking down at my reference on my phone while I'm working on this. So one thing I'm noticing is my text sizes are actually way too small, which uh, to be honest, I do a lot. It's a bad habit of mine. And I actually like the black color that we had before. It just makes the text stand out a bit more and feels more like an action. And then we can go ahead and revise this later to be maybe like a tertiary. So we can use that for sections and then have the bolder, brighter element as an action. This is already feeling a lot better on my phone. It's a lot more tappable already, but I still think I can bump up the size of these buttons a little bit. So I'm actually gonna do 14 for these smaller buttons. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push up these changes and then that will update all the rest of them, which is nice. And then same thing for this one. Like if, if you look on my phone, I don't know how well you can see it, but this is like way too thin, uh, just way, way, way too thin. And the text is small too. Let's do medium because we did the small here. And if you haven't seen a vid my video on type sizes uh, and this is confusing for you, I'd recommend going and checking it out. I'll put a link in the description and also on the information card that you can check out. There's a couple elements that you can use to do different levels of sizing. For example, like I'm doing different sizes and although the sizing isn't extremely different, it's just 12 versus 16, the type sizes and the colors are actually what's creating that hierarchy between the buttons. So already this is feeling so much better on my phone. As you can see now, it's a bit better, a bit easier to tap on. And I think we're actually hitting the minimum. Yeah, we're above the minimum. We're up at 52, so that's feeling good. I'm going to update this with the information um, just because it helps you kind of see what's actually going on and how someone would actually use this. And then I want to look at creating some hierarchy here. So I actually really like this uh, what I call my tertiary color, the gray 400. So I'm gonna do this for, I think my sections on each of them. It's the same size, we're doing label small, and then this is heading small. Uh, heading small actually feels pretty good, I think, um, just because we're gonna have a lot of text in here. So this size, I think, will give us enough flexibility to do that. If there's anything else you want to see in terms of design systems, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I can try and make videos on that. I'll try and give you guys updates on Taste Notes as well. Uh, it's an app that I'm working on for coffee tracking. So if you're interested in that, feel free to sign up for updates at tastenotes.app. Just a reminder that I have a Patreon. We just have two tiers now to make it a lot simpler. So you have basic or plus, depending on what rewards you want. You also get content early, whether you're a basic or a plus member. So if that interests you, feel free to check it out at patreon.com slash shyboytm or look at the description. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if this was helpful. Leave a like and subscribe if you want some more. And also be sure to check out my music in the description if you need some good background stuff while you're working on design systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.